everyone. Today I'm showing you our security camera setup. We have, I think, 12 security cameras right now, but I'm only showing you four cameras that we have up. So in the screen, this top one is, there's Henry's coop, Speckles is right there, and then here's the goat pens. This next camera shows a close-up of Henry's coop, Speckles, and a little bit of bb 8 this camera shows the girl's uh, goat's pen, and then this camera here shows the back of Speckle's pen. And we bought these cameras, I want to say about a couple of years ago. We bought them when we were having fox attacks. Seemed like almost all the time, because the foxes were attacking at night, and they were also attacking during the day. So we just wanted to put something up where we could keep an eye on the chickens but not have to be outside all the time. So our cameras are wired. So they do plug in and they run off our electricity. So if the power is out, then the cameras are out too. But we decided to go with the wired ones uh, versus the batteries. So we didn't have to keep changing out the batteries. We don't really have too much of a problem with the power being out. Usually the power goes out when there's a storm and I highly doubt a fox or raccoon or whatever is going to be chasing chicken around when there's high winds and raining out there. So we haven't had any problems when our cameras were down. But the only thing that I regret with these cameras is that there's no sound on here. Um, I do, in the future, want to get a camera where it has a sound so I can kind of hear what's going on when you're watching the camera. These cameras were probably several hundred dollars. It depends on what you want. It depends on how big you want to go and how good that you want the cameras to be. Uh, I would say look from like 400 up. It just depends on what you want. So I get to show you our fox attack that we just had the other night. If you see my previous video, I had said that I woke up because I heard something screaming and it was probably like 1130. And I went outside with Hercules. We didn't see anything, so I came back in and I checked the security camera and I got to see that it was a fox that had gotten the chicken. So, let me tell you a little bit about our camera system here. Over here is the dates. And ours actually overwrites uh, some of the days. So... It's about ready to over overwrite the 23rd, which is when the attack happened. So, it's like I gotta do this video now. <laughs> and over here, you can select what camera screens that you want to see. And as I said, I just have these five up right now. Down here is the timeline that we have. We can go back, backwards. You can see the time right there. Uh, you can go forward, you can stop it, pause it, play it. Um, that, I think that just goes forward just a little bit at a time. So, I'm just showing you the basics. I'm not going to go all into it. But down here is the timeline of when it happened. And it was 11.30. I don't know if these times are right with the military time. But I'm going to go ahead and forward it. You can click what time you want so we can hurry up and get over about the time it was going on. Hold on. Whoops, wrong camera. Alright. So, as you see, there's a fox right there. Go back a little bit. It's just interesting to see what they're doing.
Okay, so you're going to see him or her come right over here. You see that? Looking around, seeing what's going on. We do have the ducks over here. Would you notice that the ducks aren't out? They've gone inside the coop. So I'm sure that they've seen that. So the fox disappears into the brush. Which right now we have a tree right there that's down. It had gone down several months ago. And of course our uh, chainsaw broke. We can speed it up a little bit. See how it's going up a little bit. So you see there's a fox right there. And you see by the eyes. So it's going in and out so you know it's looking for something. You see that the chickens are up here. They're standing up now. I don't know if you noticed earlier on the camera they were all kind of sitting. So it's like right now I'm getting up out of bed and well not yet but I'm about ready to get up out of bed and I'm going to start coming out there. I'm going to forward it a little bit. So you see the fox is over there. He's interested in something. There he goes. He got the chicken. And then the chicken actually fluttered this way and the fox ran this way to the house. So, we can go to the screen. And there's a button over here where I can blow it up. Do play. So look, there's a chicken, and then the fox comes this way, like to there. So I'm not sure what happened. You can't see on the screen where that fox went, but I'm guessing it must have ran this way, and it ran this way to intersect the chicken. Because I still haven't found the chicken yet, so I am assuming that she is gone. Let me make it small again. I'll blow this one up for you guys. But here you see more of a bigger picture. See? Kind of hard to see, but the chicken goes this way. But by having these cameras, I'm able to see what was it. Okay, because obviously a catch and release trap that I use for the raccoon is not going to work in this case. Now if it was a raccoon... Then I would be like, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and set my trap up. But since it's a fox, then I need to go a different route. So, and I might as well just say it now. Our route that we use for the foxes is a 22 rifle. So... I like having the cameras because you can kind of see what's going on and just kind of keep track of the chickens and I just find it really helpful and I'm glad that we got it. So in this, uh, this security camera also you can have an app on your phone so if I'm in bed I can look to see what it, 
what's on there. Um, I have done that before. If I'm laying in bed, I'm like, oh, I want to check up on the chicken. Sometimes I'll just go on my phone, I'll pull up the app, and I'll check my chickens like at 1, 2, 3 in the morning. Just to kind of see what's going on out there. But alright, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And maybe it might help you consider getting a security camera for your own animals. Even for your own home. Because this would be helpful if someone broke in and you had it, shot, you know, videoing your house. And you'd be able to have proof of it happening. So, if you have any questions or anything, you can always comment below. And I'll try to answer to the best of my ability. But hopefully you find this a little bit helpful. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.